Hello, it's Saturday evening here in West Michigan, and here's the garden. Let's go have a look. That's well, been a great day, tiring day. Had the grandkids over, uh, entertained them all day, and uh, been doing some weeding. Picking, harvesting, and the garden's looking good. I tell you what, though, I am tired. Poopers, where are you going? Come on and help me. Come on in. Anywho, it's been a great day. Let me see. Let's start with this bed. Uh, we've got the cucumbers. The cucumbers are finally starting to uh, climb the trellis. Right there and the back there. And the, the kales are doing great. There's been only a couple of caterpillars on there. A couple of worms that I've had to pick off, but this year so far so good. Haven't had to use any BT or anything of that sort. Sunflower is, well, it's up to, it's about six foot, five, six foot tall, five and a half feet, I guess. So that's doing good. Now the uh, ground cherry is starting to really put on the ground cherries. They are, they are starting to come on everywhere. So, I'm happy about that. Um, I did just harvest all the radishes that I had in the front of this bed here. So that is I've given a lot more room for the, uh, the ground cherries. And uh, that should be a good thing. All right, over here we've got the zucchini. They're doing good. Haven't seen any squash bugs on these whatsoever. We do have some zucchini a coming. I'm happy about that. I like my zucchini. Have my wife make me some zucchini bread. She's so good to me. Over here we've got the uh, Beauregard sweet potatoes. They're starting to take off. They're climbing up the fence over here. They're climbing up the fence. They're climbing out of the raised bed. The straw bale one and the uh, raised bed. We're doing a comparison this year. They look to be doing about the same. I think the straw bale one's doing a little better still. Over here, here's something new. This bed was strawberries, but I've had them in here for about four years. They're starting to pedal out. They were starting to pedal out. So I got the okay from my wife. And uh, I know I've got to get the okay from the boss. And I ripped them out of there. And I planted uh, a couple of uh, pickling cucumbers. Four of them in the middle there. I'll probably trellis those up when they get a little higher. And a zucchini on each, each side over there. So we'll see how that does. It's just a, a big difference. I've been looking at strawberries there for four years and now I've got cucumbers and zucchini, but I'm liking it. All right, over here we've got the, uh, we've got the acorn squash. That's my wife's favorite. And then all the melons, honeydew, uh, the uh, uh, cantaloupe, they're all climbing up this chain link fence. Sugar baby watermelons. And I do believe we have, I do believe we have some fruit on. Yeah, there's a sugar baby right there. So it's like in this new bed, which I'm happy with. What do we got there? Oh, we got a predator. We got a predator. That's all right, he can stay. 
All right, over here we've got the okra. Okra's starting to get tall and looks like it's starting to produce some okra. That's, this is the crimson. And then I've got some, some red, red okra down here. They're looking really good, really good. All right, over here we've got the we've got the cherry tomatoes. They're almost they're almost as tall as me, so they're about five foot tall right now. And they're climbing up these one by two stakes. I'm single stemming them, and they're doing they're doing great. They're loaded with. They're loaded with tomatoes. I like the uh, I like to uh, take the branches off up to the uh, at least up to the the tomatoes, the first bunch of tomatoes, and then uh, you know if I start to get some blight, I'll I'll take another branch off. It seems to be working really well. So those are doing those are doing great. Onions, they're coming along. Isn't this so pretty? Look at this. I love that. Who knew an onion could be so pretty? Beautiful. What are you doing over there, Duke? Just chilling? Like a statue. Over here, we've got the steak tomatoes. And they're doing great. Um, along with some carrots and some basil on this side. Steak tomatoes. And I can't wait until I get my first, my first red one. Let me see if I can find one. Oh, there's some in there. There they are. There's a good one. So, it's loaded. This cage is... It's my second year using this. This... The uh, cattle panels on both sides and that's working well but it's loaded they're loaded with uh, steak tomatoes so I'm happy about that can't wait for that first uh, BLT Another sunflower here. He's uh, he's about three and a half feet, I guess. He'll get there. Okay, over here in the other bed, we've got the uh, the green beans going up the uh, going up the trellis here, and they're all starting to finally climb. They're doing well. And I've got the lettuce and spinach. It looks like the spinach is piddling out. It's been hot. It's been up in the 90s here in West Michigan. And I did do the uh, cut and come again on the lettuce. Uh, and it's, it's starting to come back. So I'm happy about that. And this is what it looked like before I chopped it down. Look at that. It's beautiful stuff. Good looking stuff. Looks like I'm gonna have to rip that spinach out of there though. And over here we've got the other the other ground cherry. That's starting to put on some ground cherries along with some other kale. You know it looks like the bugs are down at this end because look at this. Look at this kale. Look at that. All chewed up. But you know what? I'm going to keep it here just like this because as long as they stay here instead of over there in that bed with the other kale, that kale looks great. They can have at least four kales. That sounds good to me. That's a, that's a fair trade. And I've got some tomatillos back there that are doing really good. All right. So this garden's looking good and I'm very happy about it. You know, the strawberries being gone from this bed. It's just a, a nice new look. Let's go take a peek at the in-ground garden. 
Well, let me show you the tomatillos real quick. Tomatillos! Never had them, never grown them. But I am excited to grow something new. Kitty pool is doing really good. There's the lazies again. Duke, where's where's Bogey? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. All right, the pumpkin patch. It's starting to move. Pumpkins are starting to get big. Let me see. On this side, though, I've got uh, I've got uh, butternut squash along the uh, fence line here. Um, I've got some, uh, oh, what is it? I always draw a blank on this, uh, this other squash that I grow. Um, trombone squash. You know, and it's starting to climb up. It's starting to climb up the fence here nicely. And I built this, I built this new arch just out of sticks. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it just goes up and over, and it's really sturdy. And it'll just climb up that and over, and I've got another one on the other side there that it'll utilize that arch, and it, it'll be really pretty. So we'll find out what that looks like in probably another three, four weeks. These squash are kind of, kind of behind, but you know what? They'll, they'll come along. More squash, sunflower. The peas are piddling out. The leaves are turning yellow. So I will harvest the peas and I'll, I'll save those for planting. I put a couple of more squash in right here. It's because I had extra and I had room. So sunflowers, more sunflowers here. They're doing well. They're about waist high. And then down that line over there, we've got more squash. But the pumpkin patch, I'm happy about. Actually, I got squash, butternut back here. It's starting to take off. All sides. And this is the big state fair winter seed so i'm happy about that it's getting it's getting big this guy right here was a volunteer he's already over to the fence there and i do believe i have a pumpkin on do i have a pumpkin yes i do you know what sometimes you just feel like singing <laughs> my grandkids left about an hour ago they wore me out and you know I'm just I hate to say this but you know I love it when they're here but man when I finally get that that free time to make a video you know and I can think <laughs> it sure is it just makes me want to sing a little bit um, I love those guys though but all the pumpkins are doing well this was another volunteer and I think this one is a butternut squash I think I'm not sure but we'll see this is another state fair winner right here I planted late those two are Atlantic Giants these ones are uh, Connecticut field I think they're called and you know what I found some eggs squash bug eggs yesterday on a lot of these leaves so here they come. Time to start looking for those. Potato plant. That was a volunteer, you know. We'll dig that up here in another, uh, probably another three, four weeks, probably. But I'm very happy. Oh, these are uh, these three down here are jack-o'-lantern, and they're doing they're doing great. I'm gonna have to put some more fertilizer down, some compost. It's mid-July, so I planted them mid-June, so I guess it's about time. A couple of tomato plants over here, just because I had some room, and 
I had a couple extra tomato tomato plants to find the spot for. But anyways, pumpkin patch is starting to look like a pumpkin patch. Pretty soon I probably won't even be able to walk in here. All right, let's go. Oh, and here's the other side. I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, we've got the peppers. Let's compare the peppers again, shall we? These things are huge. They're green, they're healthy. Is there a pepper? Yeah, there's a bell pepper right there. Peppers are coming on. I got some uh, chili peppers in there. I've got some Jimmy Nordellos coming on in there. Uh, a couple other peppers in there. But look at how big those are. Look at how beautiful those are. And then you come over to the peppers that I planted with the tomatoes. Look at how puny they are compared to the other ones. Tell you what, I'll never, I'll never plant peppers in with tomatoes ever again. But we'll let them go and and we'll see if we get anything. Oh, look at there's a pepper right there. See him? Boom. So we're gonna get peppers, just not like the other. The others, that other bed is just gonna so outperform them. And over here we have a crookneck squash, which is doing great. Starting to put on a bunch of squash. Happy about that. And then over here, we got another. I think that's a trombone squash. It's gonna, it's gonna head down that way. So there's plenty of room there. And this little guy. Another little squash. But we've got plenty of time to grow squash. So, it's looking good. And I'll tell you what, let's go look at the... Uh, i got one more bed. One more bed to show you. One more bed to show you. The peppers. Oh yeah, and the carrots. Carrots are doing good. Very good. The sunflower here is... That's up to... It's up to about six feet. Uh, and here they are. Here they are. We're starting to get peppers. We got some bells coming there. We got some Jimmy Nordellos. Look at those. I've never grown these before, but I'm, I'm really excited. I think they're supposed to turn red. So if anybody has uh, advice for me, on the Jimmy Nordellos. Hit me up in the comments, would you? I don't think I'm supposed to pick them until they turn red. I don't know if we got some, uh, we got some chili peppers coming here. Oh, there's some good ones right there. So we're gonna have some chili peppers. Oh, and the kooka melons. The kooka melons. Now that I took the peas out, look at that guy. Look at down in there. Kooka melons growing right up the trellis. They were right, you know. And we got some more over here. Starting to grow up the trellis there. Uh, they said it, it takes a while for those kooka melons to get going, but once they do, look out. And they got some more climbing up there. Oh, look, a volunteer tomato. I'm going to leave them in there. See what he does. All right, a couple more, a couple more uh, peppers over here. Man, I think my wife parked a little close, a little close to my, to my veggies here. All right, what do we got here? I've got a uh, couple of trombone squash here and some morning glories. And if you look, I've got this trellis that I just built, again with the sticks, just over the gate. And I've got, uh, I think that's a butternut squash there with some morning glories. And they're trucking right up this, they're trucking right up there. Look at there, the morning glories. About eye high with me right now. And... There's the uh, trombone squash, I believe it is. So it's 
it's going to be up and over that trellis you know, in no time. So I'm happy about that. Now we've got the peppers in the straw bales, and they're doing great. Second year straw bales. We've got peppers all over the place. We've got some jalapeno. Um, I think that's some bell coming. We've got chili, I think. Chili pepper. Oh, look. There's a cuca melon. What are you doing? That's a cuca melon. Here, climb up the fence there, buddy. Get up there. There you go. Look at that. I'm going to have another cuca melon. All right. What do we got here? Uh, chili peppers, I think. Some more jalapeno. Oh, more Jimmy Nordello. So these, uh, I'm very happy and pleased with the, the straw bales. They did good last year in the straw bales, but they're doing, they're doing really good this year in the second year straw bales. And a bunch of peppers coming on there. And, you know, the straw bales. I'll be getting some more probably in the fall. I'm really liking the straw bale gardening. Uh, and right here we've got another trombone. Oh yeah, I think I got a trombone squash in here. Oh yeah, there he is. Boom. Right there. Look at that guy. The thing about trombone squash is you can harvest them as a summer squash or you can leave them on the vine and uh, you know pick them at the end of the season as winter squash and store them all winter long man look at all the look at all the trombone squash on here and there's more there so I'm counting about five four or five trombone squash it's very very prolific very productive and this plant right here is only about four foot long right now and it's already it already has what did I count four? I think I counted five uh, fruits on there already. So that's awesome. You know, I grew this for the first time last year, and it just never stopped producing. And I made so many summer meals with the the squash. It was just fantastic. And over here, I've got another another squash that's gonna that's gonna grow up. It's gonna grow up this trellis up and over and it's just going to be just beautiful